I concur with Nicola, the 90-day finance star, that the man should be the household's provider and head. Jason didn't leave his former wife and child for her, did he? And it felt that she just wasn't getting much attention and wanted to say something shocking. In no world is she letting Razvan tell her what to do about anything, and it was definitely giving me energy. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Alina, keep watching for more interesting details, and don't forget to subscribe so let's start. Nothing is worse than when someone uses religion to suit their current mood. I doubt she had an issue with her husband committing adultery with her while married with kids, speculation from me that their relationship started before he left his wife. She was his employee and so even if it wasn't physical, he was likely emotionally cheating with her. She is everything I hate about me. Alpha females, narcissistic, prettiest girl in a small town. So I think her shit don't stink vibe is all rolled into one human. And you know, if you ever turned your back, she would crack onto your boyfriend without a second thought and then tell anybody who would listen that boys are just so much easier to get along with. Girls are just bitchy and don't like me for some reason. It's probably because they are jealous of me. Absolutely, and I totally read that in her voice but had to add the obligatory like after every fourth or fifth word while obsessively touching my hair. Ah, uh, now I need a shower. She was 19 and he was in his 30s, her manager was married and had kids when they met. He left his wife and married her. In addition, Reality Gaze has evidence that she was texting Razvan before her husband died. In what world does this controlling manipulator let a man be the head of the household? She'll only let a man be in charge of paying all of the bills. That's it, nothing else, she's not fooling anyone. And the way she entered the tell-all in a size 2 T-child's half-top and still tied it up tighter and higher with her shades and waltzing in like the star has arrived. She thinks she is every man's dream. Well, honey, you're a miserable, mean, disrespectful bitch who enjoys treating people horribly. You can't cover that up, no matter how hard you try. A man won't put up with that for long. No one would. And she posted yesterday that the first baby mama and he were never married. Amanda said she was his first and only wife. Then she said the first lady had two girls with him who were no longer together. She also stressed that she was 19. It's because she is lazy and doesn't want to work. She wants the man to work and provide for her while she sits on her ass at home and buys nice things for herself. And she is the absolute worst. The funny thing is that I judged Razvan when he first appeared, thinking he was definitely using her to get to the States. Now, he seems like one of the most loving and fun people that have ever been on the show. He is nothing but a gentleman, treating her like gold and doing quite well with her grief. I won't attack her looks, but normally a shit personality can be overlooked when a 10. She is far from a 10. Razvan, you dodged a bullet. I'm sorry she played you, but after this show, trust and believe you'll find a better one to bring you here. And she's just lazy and doesn't want to work. She also expects Razvan to come to America and magically support her while she gaslights and bosses him around. She's so full of shit. It's so crazy how chicks like this expect to be supported, yet choose men who are the worst choices for this. She'd be so much better off just getting on Hange, or even something like a Harmony, and finding some older dude in America who has money and wants a pretty younger wife. I get that she kind of did that the first time and wants a hot guy her age now, but sometimes there are trade-offs. If she wants to import a hottie like Rasbin, she can't have it both ways. And when she first came on the show, I thought, no way this girl intends to work. Her late husband must have had one hell of an insurance payout, so she never has to worry about working again and can afford to choose an eye candy type guy to come live off that money with her. If that's not the case, then I truly don't get anything about this situation. Throw your opinion in the comment section below. According to my discussion, thank you for watching.